So I recently got an H60 Corsair water cooler um, and I thought I'd just give a few impressions of it. Now I don't have access to a lot of these sites, uh, access to a load of equipment so it's just basically just going to be a straight comparison with the stock cooler. Now the original reason that I uh, wanted to replace the stock cooler was just that the inside of the case and the actual CPU was getting far too hot. Um, when I was running at full load, compressing video or running games, it would often get to over 65 degrees and then um, the motherboard was starting to heat up as well. So um, I, I got it up and uh, it took me about 10 minutes to install it. Um, it was pretty easy. Uh, it, uh, it comes with a bracket for Intel but uh, my ASUS Sabertooth uh, motherboard um, didn't need it so it's pretty simple to set up. Uh, the way I've got the other system set up at the moment is that um, where the old 120mm fan was in the back of the case, the, the actual radiator that comes with it is hooked to that um, with the new fan instead and I took the old fan and then stuck that up on the top so basically what it's doing is it's sucking in air through the back and then um, pushing out hot air at the top. I assume that just makes sense as heat rises. And um, I just have to say, yeah, it was, it was quite impressive actually. It, well, it was pretty cheap, and um, uh, as I said, previously it was 65 degrees, and now it's running less than 50 at, at the maximum. Um, now, I think uh, if you're going to be overclocking, you're probably going to want something a lot better, but I never bothered overclocking myself. I just didn't see the point. Uh, um, it's uh, just a performance gain, it just seemed to be, didn't warrant it, to be honest. Uh, it runs really, really silent as well. It's pretty quiet, and um, yeah, I think it, I think it was well worth getting in, in, in the end. Um, it was very simple. I was always afraid of water cooling. You know, it was going to be pretty difficult to set up, but no, this one was pretty decent. In fact, one of one of the things I'll say is uh, when I switched it on, it's hard to tell if it was actually running because it was so it's so quiet. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's well worth it. If you just got uh, an old cooler and you just need to just need a bit more cooling, then that's fine. If you're an avid overclocker, probably want to go for the H80 or the H100 or some of the high-class air coolers out there.